I was finishing up some projects around the house when I had an idea. Let's practice painting a still life. So I took some boxes that I had sitting around and turned them into a still life stage and took the paint can for inspiration. I made sure to empty it first and I took off the label, which revealed a black can. That surprised me. I was thinking it would be silver for some reason. So instead, I dripped some paint over the edge and I even added some color using the Deco Earth acrylics I had, which are perfect because they're made from recycled house paint as well. To set up the still life, I usually put a box in for height and I cover it in a fabric. I used a paint tarp. And then when the paint can dried, I filled it with some flowers I had in the studio, but then put the paintbrush in for fun. Now we can finally paint. Now, did you know that you can use cardboard instead of canvas? I had a lot of boxes sitting around, so I'm gonna use that for my canvas. And also my Deco Earth paints with some Deco Earth brushes I just got. And so far I am loving them for detail work. Before we start though, make sure to sketch your image so you have your spacing down and then decide what your main colors are. I like to fill in my sketch, not super detailed, but almost like a coloring book. You're picking the main colors for your objects. So for example, I'm using the color sandstone for my paint tarp because that's the main color. And you can also block in some of the main shadows and highlighting, which the paint tarp had quite a bit of that. So I did that as well. Don't get too detailed because this first layer is just just our underpainting, which is like it sounds, it's under our detail work. So just worry about filling in your sketch. One thing I really like about the Deco Earth paint is the coverage. I didn't even prime this cardboard and it's not soaking in like a regular craft paint would. It's a multi-surface paint, so you can actually use it on many different surfaces, not just canvas. Now, once I get my underpainting finish, I can start my second coat by adding more highlighting, shading, and defining the shapes even more. Now, this can take time. The paintings I usually teach are finished within maybe an hour or two, but you, if you want to really challenge yourself, just remember that it can take hours, even days, to get a detailed painting finished. As you can tell, I'm really speeding up this process. In fact, don't forget to step away because when you look at it too close for too long, it might start looking like a bunch of squiggly lines and shapes. But when you step away from it, then you see the bigger picture. Don't feel pressured to make it look exactly like your still life. You can make it your own like any of our other paintings. You decide what happens in your picture. I even changed up some of the color and I made some things pop that aren't usually as exaggerated. I even wanted to add some real paint drips to my paint can, so I took some of the Deco Earth paint and tried to drip it on there. I probably went a little too far with this because I was having so much fun, but thankfully the paint dried without cracking so I was able to fix it up in the end and I got a really cool texture overall so I'm happy with how it turned out. Try setting up a still life at home with some objects around your house. I bet you'll surprise yourself. And if you wanted to try Deco Earth Acrylics, I'll have the links for you in my bio and in the description of this video. Have fun and happy painting!